What's up guys? Good morning. Well, afternoon. <clears throat> I'm going to talk for a quick second. It's hot in that bathroom. I'm going to talk for a quick second. <clears throat> the uh, furnace is at that end of the trailer, so our room and the bathroom in our room is freaking hot non-stop. And we had the heat on last night and it still hasn't cooled down in here. But, I just want to say hello. There's, li there's little Miss Erica. She's out here screaming bloody murder because Kim left. She went to uh, take Emma over to a friend's house, so she'll be back in a minute. But I just want to get on here and say hello real quick. To tell you that I, I kind of, I've been, I haven't been really watching chat, the chat much. Um, hope everybody's good. I um, have been watching and listening to a lot of Christian stuff today, and I don't know. <clears throat> I'll say this in my feed where I'm just flipping through these videos it doesn't normally happen this way I don't know what happened but something happened to me I woke up at two o'clock this morning I've been waking up at two o'clock every single morning for some reason and I just get up I do go to bed pretty early and sometimes I've been going to bed really early like I think Thursday night I was in bed like 6 30 7 o'clock I told Kim I'm like I'm, I'm going to bed I want to get a good night's sleep but I've been waking up at 2 a.m. for some reason, like right at 2 a.m. I think this morning was even a little earlier than that. <clears throat> and I wake up and I tell myself, well, you know, I'll get up, use the bathroom, get a drink of water, maybe smoke a cigarette, and then I'm going to go back to bed. I always tell myself that, but then I don't do it. I, I just stay up. Well, I didn't have a dream last night or nothing. It's not like I woke up, you know, Blue, come on, buddy. Hang on. Okay. You're making me step on a kitty cat. We got the little kittens out, guys. They're everywhere. We're infested. Hey, Dabby. Anyway, he wants to give me hugs. Oh, come on, Dabby, buddy. Emma always tries to hug Blue. He won't let anybody hug him, but he always comes and gives me hugs. I don't even have to try. He just does it. He's my good boy. He's my best buddy. Oh, I love you too, buddy. I love you too. You're a good baby. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. <clears throat> Come on, Blue. <laughs> what, buddy? What, baby? Oh, I know what you want. You want to play Frisbee. I know what you want. Daddy's home and you want to play. Just give me a minute, okay? Give me a minute, buddy. Give me just a minute. It's a bull babies. Anyway, <clears throat> you know how sometimes you have a dream and you wake up and the dream is so real and you can... I've had dreams... Okay, Blue, can't, hang on, okay? I've had dreams recently that, uh, Blue, look at this, look at this, look at this goofy boy, look at this goofy boy. All right, hang on, Blue, <laughs> give me a minute. Anyway, I've had dreams recently where I've woke up and been, like, in fear. I've had apocalyptic dreams, I've had dreams about the Lord, I've had pretty crazy dreams lately, but... Last night, no dream. It's not like I woke up feeling that way, you know, from a dream or whatever. I just woke up and I was awake. No big deal. So I start scrolling through these, you know, little video, little one minute videos or whatever. And they're all, they're like, not all, but so many having to do with the Lord. And it usually doesn't happen. It's not in my feed like that. So, I just started, like, kind of watching these things, and then I'm searching for it, and I'm, you know, I'm continuing on and stuff, and all of a sudden, I don't know if the Lord was speaking to me, or if I just had this feeling, I just got this feeling that washed over me, and I, and I remembered the Deagle Report, and I remembered this thing that I just recently saw uh, from this woman's channel, I, I saw it like a week ago, and, um, it was talking about something about 2025. Erica, she'll be back, sweetie. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do this. Erica, calm down. What are you doing, sweetheart? Mama's coming right back. She freaks out when Mama leaves. But then she don't like her there either. So it's like, make up your mind, Erica. Well, she does when she's awake. She don't like being around Mama while she's sleeping. That's why Kim sleeps in the living room. Because Erica will flip out. 
anyway, so I had this feeling of fear just wash over me. I started, I just thought about the, the Deagle Report and, and then what I just recently saw uh, with that woman's channel. I don't know her name, um, but it just, I just had this feeling and this voice came into my head and it said, time is short. That's all it said. Time is short. And I, and I, and I just kind of realized, and I've been kind of in fear ever since. I've, I've had that feeling of fear, like, and time is short. It's very short, you guys. We are knocking at the door of his return. And, uh, you know, I, I know the Lord speaks to me, and he speaks to us all differently. I mean, some people may actually hear a voice. Some people get you know senses some people i mean he, he shows me in ways where i can understand that he's speaking to me and lately i've been asking the question are you still here with me am i truly saved have i done enough you know and um i truly feel like he spoke to me today and warned me so time is short you guys and we need to come to the Lord and we also need to do our job and our job is to bring others our job is to go out there and fish we are fishers of men we're supposed to go out there and bring people to the Lord add to the kingdom and you're not going to do that going to church you know we're not going to do that just by being around like-minded folks just like we're not going to do it just by being in our little groups and you know <clears throat> surrounded by godly people we're supposed to go out and fish for men we're supposed to go out and bring people to the lord just as i hear you guys say it, and i don't i don't feel this way but i i don't seem that i've done anything i think this i think this community is what did it i didn't do nothing but people say you know tim has brought us together and tim's got me to say the you know the um, lord's prayer and like that's not me that's the lord we're supposed to be branching out now that you guys, it wasn't me that brought you, you guys brought me to the Lord. And uh, I need to go out and fish for men in order to do that. And, and the Lord spoke to me before in a way, in a certain way. And uh, I read a thing at a time and said, you know, surely you'd be a teacher by now. And you need to go back to the milk. Well, the milk of the word is the gospel. We all need to start on the milk before we get to the meat. So, I've never really left the milk. Um, you know, aside from maybe studying Paul and his writings. But, we need to go, like I said, go fish for men. And bring people to the kingdom. Bring them to the Lord. And we're not going to do that by just sticking around each other. We need to branch out. And I need to be branching out. So that's kind of what I came to today. Kim just pulled up. And I'm going to shut this off. But, you know, that's kind of what I'm feeling. I love you guys. I got to take this dog. He's freaking out, man. Come on, Blue. He wants out so bad. He wants to go play. I got to go, guys.